Hello, my name is Fadjira. If you're joining me for the very first time, I'm so happy to have you all in my beautiful family. For my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate. God bless you. If you're new to this channel, I create content on how you can migrate to the UK. Jobs with visa sponsorship in the UK, UK immigration update, scholarships in the UK, like every information that will enable you migrate to the UK. So if you're so always interested in that, do hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload a new video, you're going to be the very first person to see that video. So guys, let's quickly dive right into today's video. <music> So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest updates. The Home Secretary, that's the UK Home Secretary, Soela Brevama, have started again. Just as you can see the headlines, this was leaked today, 25th of January 2023. That UK Home Secretary's new plan may hit overseas students hard. Details here. And when they talk about the overseas students, most of them are Nigerians, Indians, Chinese. And I just hope this does not happen because it's going to impact negatively on people that are thinking of coming to the UK to study this year. The new graduate visa route, which allows foreign graduates, including Indians, and you know where there are Indians, there will definitely be Nigerians. The chance to stay on to job hunt and gain work experience for up to two years without the requirement of a specific job offer is expected to be caught under Braverman's proposal review. I'm just wondering why she's so worried about this. I know that this visa has helped a lot of people to stay in the UK. As you can see, this was published today, January 25th, and that's what she's proposing. British Home Secretary Soela Brevama is said to be on a coalition course with the country's education department over plans to cut the period of stay allowed for overseas students under a post-study visa route. According to the UK media report on Wednesday, this is said to be her new proposal and at the moment is still a secret and somebody leaked it. So thanks to that person that leaked the secret. At least this is going to prepare international students, people preparing to come to the UK to study, to decide if they really want to come to the UK or they want to choose another country. So as you can see, the new graduate visa route, which allows foreign graduates, including Indians, the chances to stay on to job hunt and gain work experience for up to two years without the requirement of a specific job offer is expected to be caught under Braverman's proposal review. So I am not sure, like I said, why she's about to do this, but remember there are so many things she has proposed and they have come to pass. So I just uh, hope and believe that this will not be one so that we come to pass as a lot of families will be affected so as you can see according to the times the indians origin home secretary has drawn up a plan to reform the graduate visa route requiring students to obtain a work visa by getting a skilled job or leave uk after six months the newspaper refers to lake advice to say that the uk department for education is attempting to block the changes as they fear it would harm the uk's attractiveness to international students like we know a lot of students come to the uk because of this post-study work visa whether we like it or not like a lot of people just want to migrate to the uk because they are sure of the post-study work visa so that they can use that time to relax and get a job that will sponsor them as i speak to you there are lots of students on this post-study work visa so if this happens people will not want to come to the uk to study because there are other countries that may want to make their country more flexible than the UK. So I'm just wondering why. So as you can see, a government source who backs Braverman's plan said that the graduate visa was being increasingly used by students on short courses at less respectable universities. It's been used as a backdoor immigration route. The newspaper quoted the source as saying, To be honest, I must say that the student visa has helped a lot of families move to the UK the main applicants and their dependents but at the same time if these people are paying for the visa application i don't see any reason why they would want to just um, reduce the number of years you can get on post study work visa okay let's read the department for education however argues that the two-year graduate visa often referred to as the uk's post study offer was aligned with most of the britain's main competitors with only the us offering a one-year visa 
so as you can see i'm sure that they did this so that a lot of people can choose uk over any other country so if they take that away i believe international students will prefer to choose other countries instead of uk so according to the latest statistics by the office for national statistics indians overtook chinese as the largest cohort of foreign students last year and the new graduate visa route introduced in july 2021 was dominated by indians accounting for 41 percent of the visas granted and remember not only indians nigerians are also included as well so Braverman's proposal is reportedly among several drawn up after Prime Minister Rishi Sunak asked the Home Office and Department for Education to submit proposal for reducing the number of foreign students coming to the UK. Figures published last week shown there were 680,000 foreign students in the UK. The government's 2009 higher education strategy included a target of 600,000 students by 2030, which was met last year itself. Another proposal being considered would reportedly allow foreign students to bring dependent family members with them. Only if they were on postgraduate research-based courses such as a PhD or postgraduate courses that were at least two years long. This should also help you prepare your mind and also when doing your search for universities that you should search for universities that can offer you a two years postgraduate study if you're coming for masters. I know Tsai University used to offer two years master's course so you can start looking at that as we are not sure of what is going to happen after this proposal. So the UK Home Office refused to comment on the leak but a government spokesperson said our points-based system is designed to be flexible according to the UK's needs, including attracting top-class talent from across the world to contribute to the UK's excellent academic reputation and to help keep our universities competitive on the world stage. So we keep all our immigration policies under constant review to ensure they best serve the country and reflect the public's priorities. So as you can see in the publication that this was leaked, this is an underground plan that has been on ground. But you know, there will always be one person, there will always be one sort to bring out things that um, does not need to be brought out on time. So this should prepare you if you're planning to move to the UK this 2023-2024 academic year. This should prepare your mind because I've seen a lot of things that Suela has proposed and they have gradually come to pass. We are not sure of if this is going to come to pass, but in as much as we are not sure of that yet, do your own plans. Look out for schools that will offer two years masters instead of one year. I know this is going to affect a lot of people if it comes to pass, but at the same time, remember, there will always be a way out. So just use this to start making your own plans this 2023. So you don't go for studies, especially when they are one year, when you can get a school that can actually give you that same master's for two years. So guys, we finally come to the end of this video. And if you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and loved ones so they know and they start preparing. And if you're yet to subscribe, hit on the subscribe and join our beautiful family. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.